After we finish carving, we're gonna use stain. It's a water-based stain to cover the board. And now we're gonna stain the whole board. And it's also gonna help to hide the little mistakes that we made while carving the triangles and ornament. And staining also will hide all the little imperfections. And now we're covering again the whole board. And I intentionally left those uncarved pieces on the board so you can see the structure of the wood. Using the brush, we'll cover whole board with the stain. You can use any color of the stain. In this case, I'm just using the walnut stain. But I like using oak stain and this one is a walnut. Human eye takes reflection. That's how we see all the stuff around us. The more subject reflects the light, then clearly we can see it with the human eye. As we know from physics, the dark objects absorb the light instead of reflecting it more. So that means, so we are not seeing very clearly the dark object. The more darker the object, then more difficult to see it. So by using the stain, we hide in all the imperfections here. And if I'm not mistaken, there is a term negretto, which is absolute black color, which is not really absorbed with an eye. We can leave it as is or you can use a light sandpaper to lighten up a little bit that carbon. Be very careful so you will not chip away the top of the carvings. Don't sand too much. We don't want to make it like, you know, very, very light. And we can make the carving a little bit more appealing with a little bit more details. So we're going to take the hatchet and cut out the little uh, notches on the edge of those diamonds. And I just noticed a little uh, chipping away part here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use some glue. We're gonna glue it and we'll leave it under the pressure for to dry it out. 
and now we're gonna continue cutting those notches on the diamonds but opposite direction And I decided to make a little more carvings over here for the contrast so you can see the carving on the stain board. Decided to add those little triangles here. Avoid sanding the tops of the carvings, only the surface. Because if you're gonna sand the, the top of the carvings, I will guarantee you that you will chip it away. We're gonna use a little glue here. And you can always put a little more details on the paddles. You can leave it as it is, but I decided to do so. It's chipping away a little bit, but you can always fix it with the glue. Cleaning up the cut. In this case, that's a half of the backgammon board. It could also be a jewelry box, it could be a cutting board, but for the cutting board, you will need to put a little legs there. And on the opposite side, you can always cut the vegetables, meat, whatever. And now we'll cover it with the lacquer. I use acrylic lacquer. It's water-based lacquer. And before you use it, make sure you test it on a different piece because sometimes it will smooth the stain away. Always test it before you cover the whole board. So you will find out how that lacquer interfere with the stain. Why use acrylic lacquer? Because it dries fast. You can always use a different lacquers, but I prefer this one. It got no odor and it dries very fast and it looks good. Cover the whole board, wait an hour and you can use another cover and you can use the third one, but two is enough. And you can always use the clear coat on the top to make it more shiny. 
using the brush just put that lacquer all over the board in every little hole and make sure you cover the whole board basswood absorbs lacquer very good the first cover especially after using the lacquer on the board the grain will rise so to make it a little bit more smoother on the touch use the very fine sandpaper after each application of lacquer the only thing we don't sand it's a last application of clear coat so it will stay shiny and smooth to the touch and appealing to the eye test it to the touch with your hand here so it will nice and smooth and that's how it looks like after three coats of lacquer you can put as many coats as you like to get the result that you want but in my case I use three acrylic toppings here and for the final coat I'm gonna use the oil based uh, lacquer and I'm gonna thin it down with the thinner in the ratio of 1 to 10 and that's gonna be my final clear coat but before that I'm gonna just lightly sand it again very very lightly Using the brush, we're going to put the final clear coat on the top. After that application, it's going to look nice and shiny. For the final coat, you can use the airbrush. I'm going to use the one that I made myself. Very easy to make and very easy to use. very thin layer and that's the final result after the clear coat looks nice and shiny and all the little imperfections are hidden with the stain wishing you best of luck with all your car rigs